how we doing today? We are currently heading into the woods again. It is 5.30 in the afternoon on September 24th. I just decided I felt like doing a little squirrel hunting after work. So we are headed down to the National Forest and we're going to see what we can see. The temperature is 72 degrees right now. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. Um, probably going to drop down to the mid 60s this evening, but hey, whatever happens, happens. We're just out there to have a good time. And uh, if we bring home a couple squirrels, that's fine. Otherwise, we're just going to have a good time uh, walking in the woods. So we're about 10 minutes out. Probably get, uh, if I'm lucky, get about an hour and a half, two hours of hunting in before sunset. And uh, of course, half hour after sunset. So we're going to see what we can see. And I will catch up with you once we get into the woods. See you in a bit. Well, we're at our uh, first spot tonight. Been here about five minutes. Everything's already settled in again. As much noise as I made coming in. I'm already hearing woodpeckers. There's a couple squirrels that are a little bit out of range, but they're here. So I'm just going to have fun, watch them do their thing for a while. And if I get one, I get one. If not, I don't mind. It's just a, a beautiful day out here. Got all the crickets doing their thing. Got the birds. Want something behind me. But I love this time of year. We'll see what happens. I've got a woodpecker right on the tree above me. Dropping so much crap, it's not even funny. Oh, he just blew off. That's pretty funny. Man, it's nice out here tonight. I thought I heard something moving over there. Just a little doe. Thing, but she's small. Not a care in the world. She's looked at me a few times, but she's not too mad that I'm here. About five minutes, and she's still here. I've even puffed at her a few times. She doesn't even care. and everything. She doesn't care. <laughs> I love the woods. Holy crap. That acorn just almost fell on me. Huh. Wonder what's up there. There she goes. Go on, little one. We got a whole bunch of blue jays and woodpeckers working around here, but uh, seeing that deer and having her hang out for a while is pretty cool. I'm not the biggest deer hunter in the world, you know, mostly because I'm terrible at it. I've had just as much luck hitting deer with vehicles as I have actually hunting them. But uh, hey, practice makes perfect. I might actually get out and do a little bit more of that this year. But um, just just being in the woods and, and seeing beautiful stuff like that. That little doe, I mean, that's why we're out here. It's not about killing, you know. Ethically harvesting your food is one thing, but if you're just out and enjoying what it is to be outside, then it's all well and good. That's just as much fun to me as it is, you know, having a successful hunt, as it were. So, yeah. Take everything in. If you ever get a chance, just take everything in. Relax. <laughs> Smell the woods. Enjoy. You know, fall that's right around the corner. I mean, we got a couple trees up here that are starting to change colors. And hey, <laughs> if anybody knows me well enough, they know I love fall, and there's a lot of reasons for it. I just like being in the woods, especially in the fall. So, yeah, we'll 
we'll just hang out for a bit longer and see what we can see. Might see another deer, who knows? Not knowing is half the uh, excitement of being out here. Okay, we'll check in a bit. It's about 6.30 right now. I've been here probably about 45 minutes. I don't think I've ever been in a single place in these woods. I've had this much consistent bird activity right above me for this long. But I love it right up here. Got a couple of blue jays that are messing around up there. I have a woodpecker that's zipping around. He just dropped something in front of me off another tree. It's just a lot of fun watching them do their thing. Uh, 645 right now we got about 45 minutes left to shoot away give or take well, it's quieted down looks like the birds have pretty much moved on I hear a couple things moving here and there there's a one squirrel that's probably about 100 yards off it's making plenty of noise but if he doesn't come close enough he doesn't come close enough no worries got something else making a hell of a racket over here over my left shoulder Don't know what it is though. It's probably just a couple of blue jays. But the uh, mosquitoes have come out because the wind stopped and got them going mm, fly in your ears and it's just it's enough to drive you insane. You think you have tinnitus, but you don't. It's just a mosquito. And yeah, just it's been a good night to be out here. Very relaxing. Uh, nice stand oak tree. Most of them are red oaks, which are uh, not preferable. You know, white oaks are definitely better for finding squirrels, at least early in the season. But it's nice. Also, didn't realize how far the sound carried in this valley. It's a lot of road noise, and that's about a mile away from where I parked. I walked away as in past that. Every plane that flies over, every truck that drives by, you can hear it and it almost drowns everything else out. But when it's quiet, the thing about the woods most people don't realize is you, know, you get an acorn falling out of a tree, or you get uh, a branch that falls, or even a leaf sometimes. Like, it just fell behind me. That was just an acorn. It's a hell of a lot louder than you think it is, but when you give yourself a chance to be outside and, and slow down and get in tune with the forest, get in tune with just outdoors in general, you start noticing a lot more things. I mean, for me personally, it's, you know, the small things, the bugs, the snakes, the frogs, things that I've posted up before, you know, but... It's exciting. It's quiet, but it's still exciting. And I hope you give yourself a chance to experience it at least once. So don't even have to be hunting. Just go outside and just enjoy your night. Enjoy the morning. Enjoy the evening. Enjoy your whole day. Just get outside. See what you can see. You never know what's going to come across. Sometimes it's a squirrel, sometimes it's like that deer that hung out here for a while. Sometimes it's the, the birds and the, the bugs. But on an unrelated note, I gotta say, my mushroom hunting spot is where I'm, I'm sitting right now. and So far it's not a good squirrel spot. It's kind of open. Squirrels can see a long ways off. But...
I don't know. Maybe they turned in early. It's all good. Got to watch the sunset over the, the ridge in front of me. That was pretty. Through the trees, at least, obviously. But, uh, yeah. We'll check in when we head out of here, unless we get something to come across. But, either way, we'll see what we see. Well, I made it back to the truck, folks. Didn't have any luck tonight, but still had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, saw that, that deer hang out for a while, and then you know, got to see a couple squirrels. They just didn't come into range. Um, you know, it's just after sunset, but in the woods here, it just gets too dark too quickly. And, you know, shooting till the end of shooting light, at, you know, which today would be 735. That just, it wouldn't make any sense. So I'm already back, so. But probably going to try this again tomorrow. Uh, if not, probably going to head out on Saturday, see what we can see. And, um, yeah, if that happens, I'm going to do a bit of a part two on this video and continue it when we get there. And I'll check in with you then. Have a good one.